In this video, let me show you how to create a calibration curve from our experimental data and then how to find an unknown uh, mass percent from a density of an unknown mass percent solution. So what you're looking at here is our density lab in general chemistry. And so what we'll do here is we'll have uh, known concentrations in terms of mass percent and we'll find the densities in lab. Now, the densities that I'm using for this example are from our CRC values. And so at 25 Celsius, these are the densities we expect. Of course, in an experiment, uh, your data might deviate a little bit, but by and large, uh, we should get densities pretty close to these densities for these mass percents. And in my class, usually our students are within about a 1% to 2% error, so that's pretty good. So I've labeled these the x-axis and the y-axis. So I'll put the density on the left-hand column, the x-axis, and I'll put the mass percent on the uh, right-hand column, which is our y-axis. So let's do this first. Let's highlight both columns. And I'll go up to the insert, and we'll go ahead and plot our chart. We'll use the xy scatter, this button right here. And I'll go ahead and use this sample right here. So here's our chart. I'll go ahead and move this. I'll right click. And we'll move the chart to its own sheet. That way we can see it a little bit better. So it looks something like this. There's a couple things we can do here in Excel. Uh, we can actually change the title. So I'll call this density versus mass percent of a sodium chloride solution. In Excel, we can actually go to this plus sign right here, and we can actually add axes titles if we want to. And to be professional, we, we do want to label what we can here. So we'll call this the mass percent sodium chloride solution. And then our x axis is the density, and we'll call this in grams per milliliter. Uh, these values look small, so I can actually right click these values, and we can actually change the font here. And I'll, I'll go to a 12. And so that'll change the font here. I'll do it on my x-axis as well. And so it looks a little bit bigger. We can see it a little bit better. So in the plus sign, we'll go to this button here, the trend line. And there's different options here. You can actually choose linear, exponential. Uh, you can see the exponential curve does not seem to fit as well. The linear fits better, which is what we expect. Click this button that says to go to more options. And so we'll see those uh, trend lines. Again, linear is selected, but this is what we really want. It's this display equation on the chart. And so that's important because it's gonna display the equation for this line. And this is our calibration line or calibration curve. And when I click that, I'll get this number or this equation right here. Change the font on that so we can see it a little bit better. So here's my equation. Y, the mass percent, is equal to 129.24X minus 128.45. And so what I'm going to do here, I'm actually going to highlight this section and copy it. You can control copy, control C on a PC or command C on a Mac. Let's go back to our original data. And I'm going to plug that into this section, the Y. Y is equal to, and I'll go ahead and paste that here. So there's my equation. I'm going to take out the spaces. And right here for X, I'm going to plug in times this cell right here, the density of the unknown. So this cell, number 10 here, I'm going to plug that in. 
And I'll put this in parentheses. Looks like that. And I'll press enter. And so for your unknown solution, you will measure a density. Now, again, you don't know the mass percent. So when you measure a density in lab, you'll go ahead and plug that in. And again, for sample data, let's just say that I measure a density of 1.0965. And so in your experimental data, you measured this density. Notice how I plug it in and it does the calculation for me. And so this makes sense actually. So you can see here 1.09 is actually right in between this 1.07 and 1.1. So we expect a mass percent somewhere between 10 and 15%. And indeed, that's what we get here, 13.26. So let's do a quick recap here. What I did was I showed how to create a graph from our data. On the left-hand column, I used the density from my experimental data. From on the Y column, on the right column, I used the mass percent. Again, the known mass percent from my experiment. When I highlight both, I go to insert the XY scatter. And I get a chart like this. I went to the plus sign and added the trend line. I went to more options and I set this box display equation on the chart and that gave me this equation. This is the equation that I wanna use for my calculations. I wanna calculate Y. What is the mass percent when I plug in an X or a density from my experiment? So I copied this equation, went to the mass percent and here's my equation. So it's the 129 times X. X is my density that I get from the experiment for the unknown solution. And this is gonna give me my mass percent for that unknown.